This occurring challenge is called class versus instance. This is basically a challenge to get you familiar with object-oriented programming. I have some videos on that already on this channel, but I think this is a good refresher. So this is one of the challenges in the 30 days of code challenge. A lot of the code is already provided for you. So this class called person is already provided. And then here they have these methods for this class. So this is the constructor actually. And then this here is a method called am I old? And then here they have another method called year passes. In the instructions, they say we need to write a person class, which is already provided here. And it includes an instance variable called age. So under this public access specifier, they have this member variable called age. And then we need a constructor which takes a parameter called initial age. So here we have this constructor with the parameter initial age. And what we need to do is assign the value of initial age to this age member variable here. So they want us to do that inside this function, but we need to verify that the argument being passed as initial age is not negative. If it's a negative value, then we need to set the age value to zero and then print age is not valid, setting age to zero. I have some code here inside of Visual Studio. So I'm just going to copy this logic here and then paste it underneath right here. So here I'm verifying if the age is greater than zero, then I want to assign the value of initial age to my age member variable. Otherwise, if the age is not greater than zero, meaning that initial age here, this parameter is a negative value, then I'm going to set the age to zero and then I'm going to print age is not valid, setting age to zero. So this here has been taken care of. Now we need to write our two other functions. The first one is year passes and it should increase the age to one. So whatever value the age is, the int value or the integer, we need to increase it by one. So I'm going to scroll down here. I don't need to copy any code for this because it's very short. I can just type age plus plus. And this here is the same thing as me typing age equals age plus one. Now we need to go to our last function called am I old? And this uses two conditions. So the first one is if the age is less than 13, then we need to print you are young. Otherwise, if the age is within the inclusive range of 13 and 17, so that is less than 18, then we need to print you are a teenager. Otherwise, we need to print you are old. So for this logic, I'm going to grab it from my Visual Studio code here and paste this right here. So this is what this code does. If the age is less than 13, we print you are young. I'm using else if for the second condition, meaning if this evaluates to false, we're going to check for this year. And if it's within the range that we want, then we're going to print you are a teenager. Otherwise, if both these conditions fail, then we're going to print you are old. And that's it for the code of this challenge. I'm now going to run it. We've passed the sample test case. So I can now submit this code and we've passed all three test cases. So that's it for this challenge. It was called class versus instance. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.